Welcome to another Tuesday Tidbit with me, your host, Scott Kinkle. I want to thank you for joining me. And this episode is about something that's near and dear to probably everybody that's listening to that, vacations. Who doesn't love a good vacation? I just got back from something that was in a tropical paradise. It was wonderful. But here's something I want you to think about. Vacations are always deliberate. They're always on purpose. They're always planned. How often do we go on a vacation that wasn't planned? (laughs) We don't. As a matter of fact, there's a reason for that. Because vacations cost money. They require you to actually decide where you want to go, when you want to go, and then you got to figure out how to get there. And everyone loves vacations. But accidental vacations, they don't really happen very often. What's the point? What's it got to do with you? Well, I wanted to bring it up because I think sometimes real estate agents get a little perplexed about the idea of planning. You know, planning is like a vacation. You're, the success of your business is like the success of a good vacation. It's not accidental. You need to know where you're going. You need to know when you want to get there. And you need to figure out what to do to make it happen. No different than your business. You need to know where you're trying to get to and you need to know when you want to get there and how are you going to get there. My recommendation is that not only do you spend a little time each week reviewing your progress towards your plan, but about every 90 days you should put together a fresh plan and make sure that you're on track. You should have a 90-day plan, a 12-month plan, and a three-year plan. I'm not a big advocate of complicated plans. In fact, anything more than three things, and I can't remember any of it. But I can remember this. If I've got a planned trip to go to some tropical paradise, I'll know where I'm going, I know when I'm going, and I'll figure out how to get there. If you want to get your business to succeed and you want to generate a certain amount of revenue, pick a dollar amount and stick to it. And then decide when you want to get to that dollar amount and figure out how to get there. That's my tidbit for this week. Hope that you can put this information to good use. As always, this is Scott Kinkle, your host. Thank you for spending time with me. If you want to leave comments, suggestions, go to the site at www.howtosellmorehouses.com. Follow me on Twitter, Sell More Houses. Happy learning.